Chicken Boy Once upon a time there lived a boy called Tommy Gobbleup. His favourite food was chicken. He would eat chicken on toast for breakfast, chicken sandwiches for lunch and chicken and chips at tea time. Every single day. His mother said to him, If you continue to eat chicken every day, you'll turn into a chicken. But Tommy didn't believe her. One night, after he had eaten his usual chicken and chips for tea, Tommy went to bed. After a good night's sleep, he woke up, but he was still very tired and could hardly open his eyes properly. So when he put on his trousers, he didn't realise that instead of his own feet and toes sticking out the bottom of his trouser legs, he had great big chicken feet. He didn't realise that when he put on his shirt, instead of his own hands and fingers sticking out of his sleeves, he had big chicken wings. And he didn't realise that when he put on his jumper, instead of his normal head sticking out the top, he now had a big chicken head. When he went downstairs for breakfast, his mother saw him and nearly fainted. Oh, Tommy, she cried, you've turned into a... Ah, ah, what's the matter, Mummy? Are you about to sneeze? Ah, 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 chicken! Bless you, Tommy said. No, she said, pointing at him. Look at your feet! Tommy looked at his feet. Ah! he yelped. I've got big chicken feet! Look at your hands! I mean, wings! Tommy looked at his wings. Ah! I've got big chicken wings! he cried. And just look at your head! she said, handing Tommy a mirror. Tommy looked at his head in the mirror. He cried, I've got a big fat chicken head. Tommy ran around the room like a headless chicken, except he had a head, a big fat chicken head. What am I going to do, he asked. His mother thought for a moment. Well, she said finally, you like eating chicken so much, you'll just have to eat yourself. But I can't eat myself, Tommy protested. Well, said his mother, you'll have to. Unless you want to spend the rest of your life as a big fat chicken boy and have everybody laugh at you all the time. Oh well, said Tommy, if you put it like that. His mother made him some toast, put his leg between two slices and made him eat it all up. That was yummy, he said. It was the best chicken I've ever tasted. With only one leg left, Tommy had to hop all the way to school. When he got there, he opened up his lunch box put his wings inside the bread and butter his mother had made for him and made himself into a chicken sandwich and started to eat himself. Poo! I taste quite nice, he thought. After school, he hopped all the way home. His mother sat him down at the dinner table, chopped his body off and put it in the microwave and served it to him on a plate with chips and bean tomato ketchup. And he ate it all up. That night, Tommy's mother carried his head up the stairs and put it on his bed pillow to go to sleep. The next morning, when Tommy awoke, he had turned into a normal little boy again. Do you want anything for breakfast? his mother called. No, thank you, he said. I'm feeling quite stuffed. What, not even your favourite chicken? asked his mother. No, he said. Especially not chicken. <laughs>